My name is Anne. I'm the president, founder, and maintainer of the Elsewhere Lepidoptera Society. Founded in 2012, uh, we are an organization that operates out of Elsewhere that is entirely about the study, observation, and appreciation of Lepidoptera. Lepidoptera translates from Latin to mean scaly winged creature. Uh, and it's the order of insects that encompasses butterflies and moths. The curated environment of elsewhere is an extremely biodiverse habitat for Lepidoptera. Uh, it contains numerous microclimates and bioregions. It also has a really quiet winter hibernation season, abundant sources of food, uh, and there actually aren't many predators for Lepidoptera. Uh, so because of these unique conditions, I came to study them here and now our manifesto. Preservation through appreciation. Number one, we believe the greatest joy is found through the act of discovery. Number two, we believe in the active study of and engagement with our natural and man-made surroundings, and we are perpetually fascinated how these two worlds interact. Number three, we believe in science, and we think what our predecessors observed <coughs> and studied before us has value. Even so, we believe interacting with the greater world around us is even more valuable, so we believe in experiential research and learning. Number four, we search for possibilities that appear when science and beauty intersect. Number five, the faster we slow down, the closer we observe, and the more fully we listen, the more we can experience. The more we experience, the more human we become. And last but not least, number six, we believe the study and observation of Lepidoptera encourages all of the aforementioned things. Let's take a look at the collection case. Here we have the Charta verbosa, uh, a caramel colored butterfly known for its angular wings, endemic to the widening expanses of laths here and elsewhere. Uh, there's the Murialis tartarius, uh, only exists at higher elevations. You can only actually ever see it on the third floor in the ghost room, and it seems to live on exposed plaster. Um, there's the Ferrum comenticus. Uh, this butterfly species is one of the hardiest of elsewhere uh, Lepidoptera family, and it can only be found on the exterior perimeter of the building. Uh, the Serico helvis, uh, that's this guy right here, that's a moth, uh, very diaphanous, cream-colored, uh, does its best to blend in, but you can usually see it around the fabric forests of elsewhere on the first, second, or third floors. Uh, aha! This is a really old species that's been here a while. It's called the Acetabellum tinea. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, it was discovered in 2007 by uh, insect aficionado David Dotson. Uh, it's a very delicate creature and hovers above the sink where we do dishes usually. Here's a special part of our collection. Uh, the moth flakes, uh, which is just Nepalophylli, which is or was used likely in the building to repel moths since there was a lot of furniture, upholstered furniture and fabric uh, that could be sort of ravaged by them. So this is sort of an interesting bit of history, maybe a dark page in our history here uh, with the Lepidoptera Society. Here is exhibit A, which is part of a moth-eaten hat, uh, just sort of bound, tossed aside, but it's got a lot of holes in it. And exhibit B is a jar full of seed bombs, which is something we promote as a way to increase butterfly lepidopter habitat outside. They're just made of clay, compost, and native wildflower seeds, so you can throw these into vacant lots and or just throw them in your own yard in order to sort of <laughs> diversify and enlarge the ever shrinking habitat of Lepidoptera in the world.
our tour today. Thanks for taking along. Thank you.